Here's what happens when you die. It is appointed for a man once to die and then judgment, Hebrews 9. But there are two kinds of judgment you can face. There's white throne judgment versus the Bema seat judgment. White throne judgment can be found in Revelation 20. Then I saw a great white throne and one sitting on it, and the earth and heavens fled away from his presence, and there was no place found for them. That's where all you good people are going to go. Us sinners who are saved by the grace of God, not our own works, will go to the Bema seat. 2 Corinthians 5, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body, according to what he has done, whether good or bad. So when you die, you will go to one of two judgment. The white throne judgment is for quote-unquote good people. And if you end up here, there's no arguing your case. You are screwed. This is a courtroom structure. You're going to plead your case if you can even speak at all in the glory of God. God will see every attempt to say that you're a good person as boasting before him. He will get pissed, which is his wrath, and then he will promptly send you to hell, which is his justice. By claiming in this life that you're a good person, you're saying that you satisfied the law. And so, of course, based on your own affirmation, you will be judged according to the law. You will be found guilty. God is a righteous judge, and he will serve his justice. Us Christians plead mercy before the court, and so we go to the Bema Seat Judgment. Everything that happens here already happened, but to Jesus Christ on the cross. God already took his wrath out on Christ and sent him to hell for us. And he's such an absolute boss, he beat hell. Death itself could not hold him. And so for us, we're wearing the garments of Christ. By professing that we are saved sinners, we are saying that someone already paid the price for us, all this is satisfied, and we don't even have to see our day in court. Instead, at the Bema Seat, they're going to weigh our works. They're going to test our works by fire and burn down anything that wasn't a true work according to whatever God's standard is. And there's going to be a review of our sin. I think this is when God will wipe away every tear from your eye. And so over here, you think you're a good person, and God's going to show you that you're not. Over here, you're admitting that you're a sinner, but claiming not only an alleviation from sin, but the right to an inheritance based on what Jesus Christ did on the cross. And so you bypass this entire system and you go right to weighing your works and reviewing your sin for the final time. This, by the way, is from the Egyptian Book of the Dead, not just the Bible. The ancient Egyptians believed in the 42 doors of the underworld. And if you read the Egyptian Book of the Dead, it's a list of 200 funeral spells, each one different, very hard to read in continuity. But if you go to Funeral Spell 125, you'll see something called the Negative Confession. And this is a profession of your own goodness. Do you remember when we were kids and we had like a cue card we could take on the test. You can write anything you want front and back on the cue card, like a little cheat sheet. And the teacher knew that just by writing it, you've studied the material. Well, they would write these little scripts to prepare and be buried with, thinking that when they woke up in the underworld, they would have this little script they could read to the assessors of Mott to virtue signal their way through the doors of the underworld. This is the origin of liberal virtue signaling. That's why they get so upset when you call them out because you're literally attacking their religion. Atheists and liberals are remnants of the ancient Egyptian religion. Even evolution where it says we're born out of the primeval waters or primordial soup, that's from ancient Egypt. Their head god was called Nun, N-U-N, which means primeval waters or waters of chaos, which is just an homage to Noah's flood when the Nephilim were disembodied. As a matter of fact, the reason liberals and atheists need to virtue signal is because they need to pretend they're good people to mute their conscience so they can sin in peace. The reason they need to keep regurgitating to each other how good of people they are is because they're literally practicing the speech they're going to give God on Judgment Day as to why they should be granted plausible deniability that God is not going to find too plausible. They're going to plead their case and they're practicing it right now, but all God is going to hear is boasting and then he's going to exercise his wrath and issue his justice. They will go to hell. Catholics are also going to end up here. They call it a repentant state of grace, meaning they're not saved by grace through faith alone. They're saved in part by works. And so when they die, they will be directed towards the court to argue their good works. And they will plead their case before God as to their good works. God will find it as boasting. He will grow wrathful and he will send them to hell. Seventh-day Adventists believe this as well. They call it the investigative judgment. They too believe they have to plead their case before God and they will just stir up his wrath and justice and they will be sent to hell. Muslims will also be sent to hell because they believe they're saved by works. Everyone who says they're saved by works is going to end up at judgment to plead their case about their works. There are only two salvation messages. Either you're pulling it from the Egyptian Book of the Dead 
where there's a door being blocked by an angel of death and you have to convince him that you're a good person or what we see in Exodus, that the angel of death is outside the door, you're inside and the door is covered by the blood of the lamb or Christ on the cross. Saved by works, saved by grace through faith. The blood is grace and putting it on the door is faith. Believing in God's promise that this will save you. Saved by grace through faith from the angel of death, which is the wages of sin, or having to get through the angel of death by virtue signaling your own goodness in order to pass through the door, which is not going to work out for you. This is white throne judgment. This is the Bema seat judgment. If you say you're saved by works or you've achieved sinlessness in this life, you will go to hell. If this topic interests you along with any of these or these or these, or if you want to see all my band videos TikTok took down, or be able to ask me direct questions in a small group setting, or be able to watch TikTok live replays and long form joint Bible studies between me and some of your favorite TikTokers, or get access to awesome digital downloads and get behind the scenes updates on my life and ministry. We cover all these topics and more on my Monday night Bible studies at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Just click the link at the top of my account, then click the War Within Uncensored Patreon and pick any package you want. I'll see you there.